Welcome back, Gators, to another super crazy exciting episode of Comic Games. And if you're new to the show, I'm Adam. I'm Zach from the Princess, Her Royal Holiness Highness. Bow down. I need to stop saying that. Bow down. Holy Highness. Holy, the holy <laughs> Highness. <laughs> All right, guys. So today is Saturday, and we got a really cool episode for you. We have a uh, mystery box. Uh, oh, she's sneeze. One of our. Oh, well, she she can sneeze wants. if she wants to. <laughs> Jack's about to sneeze. We have one of our uh, trusted mystery boxes here. Box Hero Mystery Box. We're going to be open with you guys. We've done it many times before. We've enjoyed it almost every time. We're going to keep doing it until the until the sun goes down. And uh, we also have a Stranger Comics hip hop. Uh, box that the princess bought some games for her. I'm really excited about this because she's super pumped on all the regular Marvel hip hop covers, but Stranger Comics did their own version of the hip hop comics and I've never even seen it before, so I'm super excited about this. And stay tuned to the very end, guys, because Comic Games has our first official spec speculation book from us. And hopefully, if anybody else is speculating on this, as well, we we didn't mean to steal your idea because we didn't hear this from anybody. Some something we came up with in our own heads, and uh, we're gonna lay it down for you. And maybe it'll come true. Maybe it was a waste of all of our time, but you're gonna hear it here first. You know what else we're gonna do first? We're gonna drink a beer because oh, yeah. we can't do this sober, guys. No, I can't. Mm -hmm. nope. So we got Modelo Especial. It's a nice little beer. Especial. Well, it's a nice little beer. I think we've opened that once before, but. Well, we're it's kind of like, twice. what's in the fridge? In the fridge. There's not that many beers in there right now. Sometimes so. you go out to get a nice beer. Sometimes you just see what's in the fridge. Ah, oh, smooth. It's good. It's good. It's a classic. Very All right, guys. Classic. Let's get down to business. So we've got, um, like I said, Box Heroes Mystery Box. Um, really cool company. Uh, basically, you can get, you can buy the mystery box individually for uh, roughly about $40, or you can set up a subscription with them. If you do get the subscription, you get set up with a uh, bonus book, subscriber book. And so this is a bunch of times, um, you basically, you get a few uh, old books that are in really good condition. You get a lot of new books. They all come wrapped in Mylar. Uh, their packaging is is second to none on their, yeah, on their packaging. And if you don't like the books, just huck them out and keep the Mylars and put the books you do like in there. But um, really cool. They did that big boy mystery box, which turned out to be fantastic for everybody that got in on that. And Accidental. you never know. I mean, they kind of go in waves. Like sometimes their boxes are really, really good. And sometimes they're only okay. But for $40 and you, and they've upped the books, it's up to like 10 plus now, um, whatever it is. Uh, it's worth it. I think it's worth it. Especially, I read a lot of the ones we get in this too. I'm like, oh, I didn't think to get the series, like uh, one of the can the newer Canto ones. I just read it. You know, I'm like, I didn't buy it. City of Glass? Yeah, or the City of Giants. Ended City up being a Giants. decent book. So Close enough. And you get a chance to win extra slabs if you submit this on there. Sometimes we remember, sometimes we don't, but it's a good thing. And well, we got a little Professor X card there and an X-Wing sticker. Mm -hmm. I like the X-Wing sticker. Everybody's doing cards. It's weird. And, um, Mario, that's a me, a Mario. I, I think it's a whole nostalgia thing of the 90s. There was a lot of Marvel cards back then, so now people are kind of like, well, I wish I could get those cards back. And, of course, other people think about printing new cards. So, so yeah. one, two, it's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Jeez. And the cool thing is they do sometimes, not all the time, but they do put information on the back. So it does help if you're trying to do a YouTube show and you want a little more info on the comic, it, it helps. Yeah, it does. You want to go first? Top? Yeah, that works. All right, we got Avengers 278. This is a strange how it's designed. Um, yeah, you got She-Hulk, you got Black Knight, you got Captain Marvel, uh, Monica Rambeau, Captain Marvel, you got Wasp, and you got some creepy eel guy. It looks like Cell, doesn't it? Ash, welcome to my shell. But like I said, it's a little bit older comic, which is awesome, and they're always in really good shape. I don't know where they find these old comics that are in good shape. I think it's a rare. They're not always keys. I mean, sometimes they're keys, but cool book. Okay, so looks like we got an uh, art germ variant. Oh yeah, we got a couple of these already, but a good book. You got Batman 108, first appearance of Miracle Molly in the art germ cover. No, I, I know we've shown one of these before. Digging. Cool, but it's a good speculation book. I thought I read the book. She seemed like a pretty cool character. So yeah, and doesn't hurt getting the first appearance. Yeah, doesn't hurt at all. Okay, we got a X Force number one. There's something fun about this book, guys. Uh, it usually isn't. Most is it of the time. polybag? 
Uh, I don't think it's I don't think it's poly bag. But there's two things we should say that's funny. Oh yeah, yeah. We learned this recently. Evan. Yeah. You got it? Are you ripping it open? I uh, gotta rip it open. So if it's poly bag, you always want to take a look for the Deadpool card. Deadpool rookie card. Nah. Which we're not sure how long that's gonna last, but it was a oh, hundred dollars. We got it. For the error. So I love the princess. So yeah, interesting. We were at a, a uh, comic book show recently, and one of the guys that was telling us about the back of the X Force book. So check your X Force book. I'm not sure if it's worth much more. It worth it's worth more than a dollar. On the back of the X Force book, there is a logo of Captain America's head, and if it's the um, the white inverted, the mm -hmm. white with the black, then it's the more rare version. Yeah, it should be mostly black and not white. So if you got mostly white, you got the yeah. So the it's air. right there. So if it's mostly the black with the white, then it's the regular one. But I don't know if that means instead of a million copies, they made half a million. But it's cool. You may may not know that your book increased a little bit in value. Yeah. So interesting tidbit that we learned. Okay. All right, y'all. So we got Star Wars High Republic number five. This is the first printing. Cool story. I'm already reading this. Um, doesn't hurt to have another one. Very, very, I mean, it's something to spec on. A lot of this Star Wars stuff, they write these really cool stories and then they make a movie out of it like 10 years from now, five years, and then the book goes crazy. So cool. hang, on, cool. hang on to your Star Wars stuff. Yeah, no doubt. Mm -hmm. No doubt. Okay, we got Earth Mightiest Hero Captain Marvel number seven. It's an interesting cover. I don't know if anything significant. It looks like it looks like someone's flying out of it. It looks like Miss Marvel. Yeah. No, no, it looks like a, a Kamala Khan. Oh, really? Kamala Khan? It looks like it. Ah. Who would win in a fight? Uh, Captain Mark. Oh, okay. Looks, looks like we go. got a Scott Young variant here. Ooh. Um, who's, who's that marrying Dr. Doom? Medusa. Is it? I don't know. I think we've got this before. I've never seen it. We still can't. Cool. Fantastic Four 32 Scotty Young variant. We still don't know. Top of the wedding cake to you? Maybe someone. But it's like the girls holding Dr. Doom up. Oh, like, she must be really strong. Yeah, hopefully. Mm. I think he's heavy. He's gotta be with, heavy. With all that metal. Yeah. Ooh, this is a cool, cool book. Artwork's fantastic. I don't know who the artist is, but. Oh, it's a crane. Oh, uh, gooey. Clayton it's, Crane. Uh, it's a sensitive. Ah. Yeah, Sensational Spider-Man number 32. It's well, Mary Jane riding on Spider-Man's back like Yoda. Why not? That's nice. That's nice. Yeah. Clayton Crane's really good artist. That's a really love. Oh, man. I can't want that. Because it's signed by... His Crane. covers don't seem overdo like overdone either. There's no. not like a million Clayton Cranes rolling around. Yeah, not the same style everywhere. Ooh, so you got Silk number three. Ooh. Just good. I think it's part of the new series that's out right now. Heard it's a decent read. I have not read the Silk, but I'm, I may have a chance. Sometimes I read them out of order. Just whatever we get, I just read it. It's kind of weird to do that, but I'm just like, hey, if I got number three and I don't have two and one, I'll just read it. I just, I just love those characters. Silk, Dr. Aphra, those two. I, I Ooh, just love them. that's the first appearance. No, not oh, the first. Is it? Is it the first? No, six number is the good seven. one. Six okay. is the, That's the subscriber bonus book. So this is a Brady Bunch kind of, I don't know what it is, or the, what's the other, what's the other thing that they do with squares like that? The Brady Family Bunch. Feud, or? Number, oh, I don't know about the Family Feud, but Black Widow, know, number, okay. Black Widow number seven, it's a really good um, story so far, guys. It really, like, given her her overdue greatness that Black Widow deserves, and there's a bunch of keys in that, in that run, so. Nice. Yeah, you haven't right. got a chance. Okay, last one from the box. We've got, ooh, I like this one. Oh, uh, Miles Morales, Spider-Man 26. I think this is the second part of the Clone Saga. Ooh. 25 is the first part, I believe, which is the, the key yeah. in that series, but cool cover. It's like, like, you know, I actually thought the original Clone Saga was really cool, so it's kind of kind of cool they're redoing it, you know, but hopefully doing it better, doing a better job of the Clone Saga. All right, that was our Box Heroes, guys. You will be seeing us open one of those a month until the foreseeable future, until we decide it's not worth it, but I thought it was a decent box. I give it a, a decent grade on that one. The mileage are bad. half the value of the box. Exactly, anyway, so. you can't go wrong with that. All right, guys, next up. So, uh, this is a company that the princess has become friends with as of lately, Stranger Comics. Really cool indie company that have a bunch of great characters out there that they've created and done with uh, Niobe's, like the big one, and then what's the Untamed is the original series yes. that it went through. Okay. So, um, really cool. Both Princess and Zach have been buying books from them when they're on YouTube and, and through their IG. So, check them out on IG. Link them up so you guys can see. If you guys get into it, they sell the trade paperbacks and stuff too. So you can kind of read the story and enjoy it and then kind of get their collectibles. But the uh, Marvel uh, did a hip hop covers a while back and just 
started out really slow, not that popular, and all of a sudden in the past year or two just gone crazy, like everybody wants them. So Stranger Comics did a version of their own hip hop covers, and as you well know, Princess loved them hip hop covers, so as soon as one of her favorite companies did their own hip hop covers, she had to get in on that mix immediately. So we're gonna see, I've never seen any of these, so I'm really excited to see what this whole hip hop thing is all about. Okay, how do I get in? How do I get in? Do you know if they have any like slogans, uh, Stranger Comics? They have a slogan? Do they? I don't know. I, I don't know, if you guys are watching and you know, they comment down below, but here's a few uh, options I think might be kind of cool. Like, don't you want some strange? <laughs> <It's> a, <laughs> That's we're all it. strange here. <laughs> okay. I like that though. Oh, even they're doing comic cards. Okay, they got Stranger Comics. Oh, yeah. let's oh get business cards slash comic Oh, cards. there might be, like, Let's Get Strange, guys. Let's Get Strange. That's another. There you go. Oh, maybe I would say it. You got those? Oh. oh, Talk to Strangers. That's their slogan. Oh, Talk to Strangers. That's a good one. Oh, I like that better than Get Some Strange. Viable <laughs> <laughs> uh, options, guys. Unless you're a kid, then don't talk to strangers. Don't talk to... I was just going to say that. <laughs> Pretend Watch you out. don't know someone, then they're strange. I guess we'll just, uh... You want me to just open them? Yes, open them. Not the shape. Like, cool thing about them too is they sign a bunch of their stuff too. So if you buy them from them, they'll, they're happy just to sign. They don't charge you anything for it. So it's awesome. That That's one do. wavy bag. <laughs> yeah, but this is cool. I don't know what these are. It's a virgin variant. It looks like Niobe on the cover, but. Got some sinks. We'll have to do some uh, research on these to see which actual covers these go. Oh, here's another one. There's a trade dress that goes with it. No, oh, Niobe issue number four. Mm. Ah, the trade dress. I'm not sure if anybody knows which hip hops these go with. Feel free to uh, comment down below. We're gonna make Zach do some research uh, to figure out if he knows which no. ones they go with. Maybe Beyonce. I'm just gonna say Beyonce for a little Beyonce. Oh, okay. So, oh, Niobe, Niobe number three. I think these go together. They're cool though. I don't know. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. They, look, look at the color, right? Yeah, they're connected. I don't know. I don't know. But I don't they, know. There's one that's like a um, a trade dress version, and then there's one with different characters on it, but same seating arrangement. Mm. And like I said, they're all signed, so freaking amazing. So if you like the signatures on your comics. Is that Queen of the Damned? Maybe it's Queen of the Damned. Is that, an, is that a character from Untamed? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that. Oh, wow. I love this cover. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hopefully these don't come out. The, ba the bags are a little wavy, but let me see if there's a, if it goes together with another one. Oh, oh there yeah, you go. It does. So, Niobe, she is death, issue one. You don't remember buying that, huh? <laughs> Maybe it's a throw one. Are these not the hip-hop covers? They're not the hip-hop covers, guys. Oh, I was, I was like, like these look like hip-hop mm -hmm. covers, but yeah, I think yeah. these are just the, the good sign. So, oh, yeah, that's a dope one. We made a mistake. Not the hip hop, but very cool. Regardless, we needed to open these and look at them. I, dude, I'm digging these. Well, wow, these are like the rare ones. Oh, here you go. Oh, there's whoa. the color, Ooh. colorful version of that one. Oh, that, oh, and then there's another wait, one. That looks like exactly. Oh wait, oh the see, that's different. The name. It's, it's gold, right? Red, no, red, red. And that's blue. So that must be a different printing. Okay, so never mind. These are not hip hop covers, but. <laughs> <laughs> these are cool. Though. I was thinking of a title and I have to scrap my title now. We gotta like, maybe, uh, that's what we do. We don't open any of these until we're live with you guys and then uh, we make a mistake. So we got, ooh, The Untamed number four. Mm. Oh, that's a cool cover. Their, their artwork is like amazing artwork. I really like that cover. Mm-hmm. Right. I'm gonna picture this name, I think. Essessa? That's what I would say, Essessa. Essessa number one. I like that. You see, it's either you get the name right or just butcher it really badly. Esos. I think it's that's that sounds right. It's like, that's not even close. Esos. Esos. Esos number one. Okay, and then this it's one. Not this one's one. cool. I almost kind of like a little uh, the ASM three hundred look with the circle. Oh, yeah. But you got Niobe. She is death number one. Very very cool. Very cool. So one, so sometime soon we're gonna find those hip hop covers from them, and we'll open them on on that show. But we just got a cool box of Stranger Comics stuff. So very cool, really, really I like cool. That. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Stranger Comics. And like Thank I said, you. check them out on IG, guys. If you want to get hooked up with some of their stories, you like the covers you saw in here, um, pick them up, read them, do all that cool stuff. Is it's gonna get hot? I, I think they said they were getting picked up somewhere with Amazon or something, right? HBO. Was it HBO? I think, it's HBO? I think one of their stories is getting picked up, so get their comics before everybody else knows about them. 
All right. Okay, guys. So last up. So um, let me see if I can get Zach open one of these. So we got three of the same book that we're specking on yeah. here. But we wanted to tell you guys just something that we came up with on our own. Just thinking, you're like, hey, you know, like Star Wars is getting really hot. You know, what what good Star Wars key can we pick up that's super affordable right now that um, doesn't seem to be well known? It also has something to do with we're reading the. Uh, I don't spoiler alert, guys. If you haven't finished the Bounter, Bounty Hunters War or caught up turn at this off, point, right? like, turn it off. Well, don't turn it off, but just mute it or something. But uh, there's a surprise character, I think, like in book four or five, but it's Kiara. So uh, Kiara ends up showing up. We all know her from the, the solo movie, uh, which most people hated. I can understand why some people didn't like I actually enjoyed that movie. I thought it had a kind of a cool story to it. It did seem a little thrown together, but. Kiara, really cool character. She's, uh, you know, Amelia Clark, Mother of Dragons. But I was trying to think, like, she's such a cool character. Like, what's what's her first appearance? Like, how are we going to find her first appearance and, like, speculate on this? And it turns out it is in the solo uh, adaptation Star Wars comic book, um, which Key Collector, Key Collector has labeled on there, but I think they only have it labeled, like, a what, $6 book. Something like that. They scotch taped the crap out of it. Okay, I, I got this. I got this. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my. Um, I'll, I'll show you guys this in a second. But, anywho. This is not coming um, out. They're also doing the, uh, what is it? I was going to say Han Solo, but uh, Obi Wan yes. Kenobi TV show is coming out on Disney Plus. And they've already said it's going to entail with Crimson Dawn, which Kiara is like kind of second in charge of Crimson Dawn by the end of the thing and in the comics they show her like kind of in charge of Crimson Dawn so really good chance she's going to show up again in the Obi-Wan show on Disney Plus plus she signed on for Marvel already so she's pretty much locked in with that whole company so uh, while Zach's trying to get into our other one we did pick up three copies of this that's going for about 25 20 to 25 to 30 dollars on eBay so if you guys want to Get in on it now before this book goes crazy because I feel like it has a little bit of an Ahsoka feel to it. You it know, does. like Ahsoka came out with uh, Clone Wars issue one based on a TV show. She's not like an original character to the comic. So um, same with Kiara. And if something cool could happen with this, it's a decent cover. So first cover and first appearance is in this book. Um, we're specking on it, guys. So let us know. We'd be happy to know what you guys think. About, I was thinking we should open these ahead of time. <laughs> How'd you get two in there? Did we get three or four? What is that? Throwing? No, we got heck. Wait, did you get two in yeah. there? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I was like, what the? Yeah, throw so, we really appreciate with this show, guys. Let us know what you guys think of the yeah. speculation. If you think it's a good idea or not. Or if you guys think it's That's a garbage idea. Just something we came up with. We thought it would be like an original spec. Uh, to tell the community about what we thought might be going down in the Star Wars world. And a little bag for knowledge, guys. If you see that cover and it has a red, uh, not red, uh, yellow, 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 yellow logo, it says yellow so solo and yellow, whatever, that's a Walmart variant. Probably mm -hmm. a lot more limited. And I believe there's at least two more other variants. There's a 1 in 25 and 1 in 50. Yeah. So keep an eye out for those ones. Telling you guys before it goes crazy or anybody else knows about it. All right, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed that show as much as we did doing it. If you did, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, do all the awesome stuff that you guys always do. Leave us a comment. We'd love the comments. We'd love to read from you guys' stuff. And anything else, Dad? Yeah, yeah, you gotta be a Kirby character. Here's a little hint. Uh, your, your name also is Scott, uh, Scott Free. I'm a Sid Lang. My bad, different character. Scott Free. And like, hey, you're, you're the first representation of it, kind of. And there's a guy in the circus that was actually, uh, his uh, stage name was that. But anyways, won't give it away. You're, you're, your father is a very big man and very powerful, but there's also another planet. He's, a, he's, a, he's like the king of the planet, and then there's also another planet that, you know, he's the king, and they're always at war. So to stop this war, they decide to trade sons. So the son of this guy, goes over to this place that's horrible and this guy goes from this place and gets treated very well very nicely you know on this planet so he kind of got a horrible card already is that orion yeah orion yeah and uh you know he gets trained by you know 
these people, a certain mother type figure that's not motherly at all. Eventually, he frees himself. Get it? Freeze. <laughs> Scott, Scott Free. Free. And then he comes to Earth, have fun. He like doing this, doing that. They keep on coming after him. But he comes back, whoops some butt. He wins a trial by combat, and then he literally becomes free. Hmm. And that's how you become Mir Mr. Miracle. Ah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's Mr. A, Miracle. He's the son of the high father, you know? Mm -hmm. High father, yeah. yeah. Not the low father, not the middle father, the high, high father. father. Yeah. It's cool really character. Cool. Very cool character. Oh, yeah. He's like OP, overpowered. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. That's our show, and everybody stay safe until next time. And remember, get those games. Get them! I was going to say something else, too, but whatever. Oh, yeah.